Hey guys! Um, so, yesterday was Halloween, didn't get to wear this, bought it specifically to wear it on Halloween, and I didn't, so here we are, starting off November. This is the book I'm currently reading, it is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. I'm on page 180, and I'm really enjoying this, so I am definitely going to be finishing it very soon, maybe even today, probably not today, tomorrow. I finished The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, I want to go to sleep, but first, we're going to talk about this book because I have thoughts. This was really interesting. Um, I feel like it was really good, but I also feel like I wasn't enjoying it necessarily that much, and I think that was done on purpose. Um, the writing style specifically, or the narrating style, is a lot of telling instead of showing. Um, and the main character's name is Christopher, he's autistic, and he is writing a story, and he likes to like tell things and to like not do it flowery or to use metaphors. Um, so that is the story that you're getting, his story that he's writing. And it makes it so that you understand his head and understand like the way that he's thinking more. Um, and I think it was really good at doing that. But also there are parts where like there'll be some some emotional impact that's happening, something that's really tense. And he will explain it and tell you what's happening, but he will not understand the emotional impact of that situation, but you will. And it sort of makes it jarring, especially when he all of a sudden then goes and talks about like a science thing or a maths thing. Um, there's also a lot of like interrupting the story with like um, science and maths and like learning stuff, and it was all actually really interesting. And that is coming from someone who does not like maths, so very interesting. Um, but also jarring and sort of, on purpose, I think, separating me or disassociating me with the story and with the characters. And my reactions to the characters also was very strange, like, there were characters who in a different situation I would not be sympathizing for, but I was here. Um, and it was just really interesting to have this dynamic and to have this perspective on things and to have it be so different from what I was expecting. Like, I was expecting some sort of, like, fun, interesting murder mystery story with this, and that is not what I got. Um, if you are looking for something lighthearted, this is not the book. Um, it's, it comes at things very simply, and it also doesn't talk directly about the emotional stuff and, and about the tense things, but those things are there, and it's almost more intense because it's done simply, and it's done through the perspective of Christopher. Um, so yeah, I really like this, but like, reading it at times was a bit not fun, but I also think on purpose. So, yeah, I really like this, I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. I finished An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir, um, and yeah, I finished a book, I read this really quickly, I think I finished it yesterday, um, and I read it in two days, and it's 400 pages, which is so fast for me, but this was so easy to read the writing style, what was happening, the pacing was really good, and I just got through it really really quickly, and it's YA fantasy, which I love to read. Um, I am giving this, I think, 3.5 out of 5, just because it wasn't really anything new or like original in terms of the story or the characters. I knew everything that was going to happen, because it's all happened before in books ever. Like, it reminded me so much of just a bunch of different books, YA fantasy books that I've read in the past. The characters reminded me of other characters as well, um, and like, there was nothing really like super original about it. I liked the writing style, I liked the descriptions of things, um, and I actually, it was sort of like a familiar feeling um, in the story, like I was reading it and I wasn't annoyed by all of the things that were just exactly like other stories. Um, I was just sort of like reading it and enjoying it, but it wasn't anything new. I don't really know why there's hype around this. Um, it was a lot of fun to read, but it wasn't like this amazing, like, completely different story from like other stories in the same genre, so yeah, I'm interested to see what happens next, um, and I'm definitely gonna go into it with like sort of just, I'm not gonna expect it to be like different, but I, I think I'll enjoy it and I like the writing style, so that is this book. I bought The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. Um, I really like that the spine is like this blue color that is the same as the name. 
Um, yeah, I saw this in Kmart, it was $16, and I was just like, okay, okay, okay. Um, I was of course intrigued by this book, but the synopsis of this does not inspire, like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. It's about a, um, woman who was an expert in her, an expert in her field for a government agency that doesn't even have a name, it's so secret, and then she becomes a liability, they, um, try to get rid of her, but she escapes and she's on the run, surviving, evading the government, and then she gets a message from them saying, do one last job, and then we will stop chasing you and you can be free, and things get complicated, there's romance, of course, and yeah, it's, it's like a, it sounds, I don't know, basic? I didn't really, like, it, I didn't read that synopsis and go, I want to read that book, um, but I am reading the book. I'm on page 176. The first 100-ish pages were a bit clunky-ish. Um, like, it's written in third person, but there's a lot of inner dialogue because she's by herself, and she's on the run, and she's, like, isolated from people, so there's a lot of, like, it's interesting thoughts, like, she's, like, planning things and, and, like, trying, or, like, like, deciding how to do different situations and, like, spy stuff, like, what disguises she's gonna use, what things she's gonna make sure to, like, put into place to make sure that she's safe and, and, like, just, just, like, it's interesting, but it's all stuff that's in her head, but it's third person. So it felt a bit strange, um, but when other characters come in, when the action starts to happen, it really picks up and I'm really enjoying it so far. Like, I am surprised by how much I'm enjoying this and I really want to get back to reading it. I think my favorite thing is the main character and the fact that she is smart and she's an expert in her field and she's so talented and she's using it. She's using it consistently. Like, she's not letting other people take control and do things for her and, like, solve problems. She is using her talents and her skills and her intelligence all of the time to, like, do things. Like, it's great. Like, she's smart and she's using her smartness and her intelligence. I'm, like, I'm living for this. I'm really liking it and it's so... I'm just really liking that. Um, and I'm excited to see where things go. But yeah, reading The Chemist. Right now I'm editing my bookshelf tour 2016. This is coming in December because that's the last time that it can come. Um, I... these clips that are in iMovie right now are for the introduction which is gonna be two minutes and like 15 seconds because that's how long the song is. And I put all the clips just for the introduction into iMovie and it is 51 minutes and 54 seconds worth of clips. Just all of this is going to have to become two minutes and 15 or 14 seconds or something. I'm, I'm just like sitting here like, oh dear. Hey guys, I feel like it's been a while. Um, I have blue hair and it's cut. Also, I'm reading The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. Um, I've been reading this for a while. I don't, like, I feel, it's been a while, but, like, it is a long book. Um, but I'm happy to be finishing it. I have been enjoying it. Although, it's, like, peeling. And I'm not, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that. Um, yeah. So, I'm gonna finish this today. There's 30 pages left. It's, like, I was, it was, like, 2 o'clock last night, and it was in the middle of the action, and I just was, like, the end of the chapter happened, but it was one of those end of the chapters where it's just not a great situation. It's like everything's in chaos. But I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna go to sleep. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna close, gonna close the book, go to sleep. So I did that. Gonna finish it today. Um, also, we're decorating today the rest of the house, which is very exciting. And then after that, Gilmore Girls. I am so excited. It came out yesterday, but we saved it so that we can all watch it together. And so we're gonna watch it together any Pop-Tarts and popcorn and ice cream and pizza and it's gonna be great. I'm so excited and the Christmas lights are gonna be up. It's gonna be wonderful. Um, yeah, so that's the plan for today. I might also start Harry Potter after that because I need a start and once I finish this, my the only books that I want to read for the rest of the year are Harry Potter after this. So Harry Potter is gonna be started today. So very Christmassy and like, like fun and Gilmore Girls and I had Pop-Tarts and coffee for breakfast this morning, so yeah, that's that's what's happening. Um, I have bought DIY supplies for DIY videos, which is very exciting. They're like over there. Also, this tree, this silver tree, silver tree was like just a thing that was happening. I moved it around like five times in the last few days. Um, and I'm so glad to like have it in a place. I'm leaving it there and it's gonna stay there. I was thinking about buying a new tree and just like so many decoration thoughts were like swirling around my head. 
it's not that big of a deal, but like, I don't know. I was like, I should not buy another tree. I should not buy another decoration because I have enough stuff going on. It is very, it's not cluttered, but it's a very, there's a lot of tinsel. Five hours later and my background is lit. Stop. Um, yeah, I also decorated and I finished The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer and this thing keeps, I keep touching it and it keeps getting worse. I should stop, but I kind of want to just like peel the whole thing off. Um, so I finished this book. I'm giving it a 3 out of 5. I'm going to do a full review next month, so look out for that. But, um, I enjoyed it. It was a bit long though and the story isn't, isn't like especially unique. Um, it's a pretty like basic story, or like a basic plotline. Um, but it was still fun, and I think if you are considering reading it, if you're like, it's Stephanie Meyer's new book, I want to see what it's about, then just, like, go for it, and enjoy it, and keep your expectations low in, in terms of the story. I do also want to say, in the acknowledgements, she is thanking all these people who are, like, doctors, and police officers, and sergeants, and JAG Corp people, and, you know, officer first class people, and then, after all those people, she says, and a huge thank you also to my sources who prefer to remain anonymous. Who are those people? I'm like, I read that and I was like intrigued. Also, who reads the um, acknowledgements in every book that they read? Because I feel like I have to read it, even though I'm not interested. I feel like I have to read everything and just like complete the book. Um, but yeah, that is what I thought. More thoughts to come in my review. I'm gonna go watch Gilmore Girls now. So, Gilmore Girls, I watched it. I said to you that I was going to watch it and then maybe read Harry Potter afterwards, and I, did, I didn't comprehend how long it was. It was six hours, and I watched all of it, and I finished it at 3am, so I didn't actually read afterwards. Um, but, Gilmore Girls. I am glad that I watched it. I'm glad that they made it. It was good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I felt that Gilmore Girls feeling that you feel, um, maybe not to the same degree, but I, I definitely felt happy watching it, and you know, got emotional, and it was just, it was a good time. It dragged a lot, and there was a lot of filler episodes. Also, I'm not going to spoil anything, by the way, if you're worried. Um, but yeah, it dragged a lot. There was a lot of, of filler. Um, and the ending, those last four words, I just, like, I was sort of getting this closure happening, you know, like, oh, this is great, this is wonderful. And then those last four words were like, oh, nope. I should have expected them, but at the same time, I did not, and uh, it was just, it was just, yeah. I don't know, if you've watched it, you probably, like, can understand what I am feeling. It's just, it's, I understand it, but I'm also, like, mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I really liked Emily. Emily was great. Everything with Emily was wonderful. I loved her, and I feel like she, um like, Inhabited and her storylines were the best, um, in the thing, in, in the re- thing, in the, in the movies, um, and I really liked Paris as well, she was great, and I loved her parts, and, yeah, Rory was probably my least favorite part. I have had this thing happen where, um, I loved Rory, and I thought she was amazing, and she was like Hermione, you know, she was like someone who reads and drinks coffee and is smart and intelligent and works hard. Um, but as I re-watched Gilmore Girls over and over, and as I've gotten older watching them, um, I've realized that Rory is really flawed, um, and that she is really privileged and really spoiled in a way, and she just always has things go her way and expects that to happen, and I don't know, this, this like, highlighted that, like, before it was a flaw, and it was, like, something that I didn't really see, but then I saw it, and I was like, oh, you're not the, you know, the most amazing character, but you're still pretty good. But here, it felt like such a bigger part of her character was that, and also it was weird because, you know, it's been nine years, maybe some growth would happen, but no. But yeah, so, that was, I didn't, Rory was, yeah, complicated feelings, but I did really enjoy it, and it was great, just, like, that musical? Goodness me.
remember if I told you but I started to read Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Elidor Sands. Um, I'm on page 39 at the moment and I'm liking it. It's not what I was expecting. The chapters are very short and they almost feel like quick glimpses of things. So we'll see how things go but I'm very excited to get into this. That was my December. I hope you enjoyed and next month is going to be so exciting. Lots of stuff is happening. It's already December right now. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for like all the Christmas videos and vlogmas that I'm going to be watching but not doing. Although I am going to be uploading a lot of videos next month. So yeah, I'm excited for that and I will see you then.